Jocelyn McClellan with Fit Mission Makeup bringing you the hair today. I wanted to bring to you an easy curl that you would do this summer. You can do whenever. It's a curl that you can have more fun with. You don't need to have it be perfect, but I really do think you're gonna like this hair tutorial for short hair. So stick around, here we go. Oh, by the way, not only that, we're using a flat iron and a tapered wand. Let's go. Let's get started on this hair tutorial of second day hair. Yesterday, I did not have time to do my hair all curly. Usually I'll get it all curled on day one so that on day two and three, I'm just letting it become a really loose curl. But yesterday I didn't have time to curl it so I just flat ironed the ends. Now my hair is pretty darn straight. My ends kind of get a little bit of frizz. So if you have more straight hair, this is gonna be perfect for you. Um, I'm gonna show you though, what I do today that's gonna be an easy, fast curl for summer or because we just don't have time to do our hair very long, but we still wanna look bomb and we still wanna want look awesome. So that's what I'm gonna bring to you today. I'm going to heat up really quick like. I put it down on like 390 um, is, and I'm using, um, today I'm gonna use a tapered wand now, I use Launches Hair Care. Yes, I'm gonna affiliate with them, but you'll see in my past videos that when, um, in like the beginning, I was talking about trying to find new flat irons and, thing, and curling irons and things like that, because mine had bit the dust. They were done for, I'd had them for a really long time, and so I searched forever. I even pulled some crappy ones that were expensive. They sucked, so bad. So I found Launch, and I only use them because I absolutely love them. Um, I tested them out before ever being affiliate with them and I am a huge fan. So these are almost done. This one's completely done, heated up. This is the Lareff flat iron, it's titanium. These are actually both titanium. And um, let's get started. I'm, at, I'm using both because I wanna do just a fun, easy flip. I'm gonna do a fun, easy flip, but a little bit of curl to it so that it just gives it a little, little bit more sass it goes by very quickly. I'll tuck in some, show you all about this, but then I'll stay quiet and others so we can just whip out the curl, get it done so that this tutorial won't take you very long to watch. The cool thing about this hair is that it is done quickly, especially if you're not talking. So hopefully you enjoy it. Here we go. All right, I got my hair parted up uh, just so that it's easier to not have to go through pieces. I used to not part my hair, but then I started finding out that it was a lot easier to control what the heck I was even doing. So I part my hair off. Um, I am going to dry shampoo my hair, get it in there, wake it up, especially the parts where you feel like you're touching all the time or if you're a back sleeper or anything like that, you really wanna get in those places. places. Plus, um, a dry shampoo helps add volume to your hair as well, which is bomb anyways. So we're just gonna wake things up. And then I'm gonna take random sections and I'm going to um, just pull. It's not gonna be like flat iron, then a, the, the wand, flat wand, flat iron wand. It's gonna just be however the heck I'm feeling, which helps it go even quicker. So uh, when you are curling actual ring, like, rings and you're trying to make this perfect curl, you wanna make sure you grab pieces and make it like super nice, super clean. But for this tutorial, I'm not caring so much with clean because I just want crazy, I just want fun, I want quick. So I'm not going to be, you're not gonna be seeing me going through and grabbing each piece and making each piece super perfect. This is not a perfect hairstyle. In fact, I want to make sure that you guys don't always do perfect hairstyles. So here we go. I'm just gonna grab some pieces with my flat iron. I just do this like twist. I don't go all the way down and I'm just adding up this volume. These first ones, I want you to make sure that you give it a little something so that it's not so flat, especially in the front, especially if you have a hairstyle like mine. Cause my hairstyle uh, is longer in the front and shorter in the back. So since those front pieces are long, we wanna make sure that we give them a little something something to wake them up, right? Right. I'm gonna go in with some curl pieces. I'm gonna go in with some straight. 
and I'm gonna make it fun. All right, hold tight. We'll speed this up for just a bit, and then when I need to tell you something important, I will. But real quick, like before I completely speed up this video for, for your sanity, um, like I said, on these front ones, you wanna make sure that you give it something. As you see me style my hair, you're going to see it come around and hard, some pieces are gonna have hardly anything done to them, and that's okay. That's totally fine. You're also gonna see that I have one head of my, uh, one side of my head that doesn't cooperate very much. Kind of annoying very much. I think we all have one of those, right? Yeah, I think so. So since this is my more awkward side, I am going to probably do more curls on this front side, but I wanted to teach you something too with the flat iron. So because you have one side that's easier for you to kind of twist and turn and do all the things right, and you have one side that isn't as easy, I want you to kind of over exaggerate it, putting your hand into it before, um, before you do. So instead of just coming in it just like this, and then you're trying to turn it back and your arm is like, and you can't figure it out, right? And then you end up with a weird curl. I want you to over exaggerate your hand and then that way you can give it that crease and bring it down without a really weird curl. So I'll show you that one more time. You're gonna over exaggerate your hand so you're not going in, you're not going in easy like this. You're twisting your hand over and then you're bringing it and doing that twist and then you're just having it sit there. Let me bring it down just a bit more. There we go. So let me show you that again, right here. Twist. Don't go all the way through, just give it a twist. about inch wide sections and I'm just gonna pull you can pull bigger pieces this doesn't matter you can pull bigger pieces but you're just gonna give it that twist and I don't go down to the ends that's why it was good on day one to flat iron my ends and if you do have frizzy ends you can totally flat iron those ends but if you before you start and you know you have frizzy ends if you just want to go to them really really quickly Here's your chance. Before is your chance. There was your chance. the tapered one too because I can go in and make some curls that are going to be super tight up in here and just make these fun teeny tiny curls and then I can also make ones that are bigger so I love me a tapered wand it is probably one of my very favorite things right now I think the tapered wand has all kinds of goodness to it. I love it so much. Okay, now we're at this point where I'm at the top. Um, this is where I tend to get oily. I think it's because I'm always messing with my part. So I'm gonna make sure that I am getting that dry shampoo in there really good like. P.S. How many of you noticed my shirt? Death Leopard. <laughs> Yes, went to one of their concerts. I tell you what, always good. Always a good choice. Always a good choice. Okay, the, the biggest thing right now when I get to the very top, this is where the important factor comes in. It's how you want to part your hair and which side you want to part it on. 
Now, by the show of hands, how many of you guys have been parting your hair on the exact same side uh, for years, right? Well, let's make some volume happen, baby, and let's change things up. So you are going to actually, well, you can decide, it's up to you, but you can figure out how you want your part to be. You can curl everything down the center and then flip it and whatnot, but I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been curling everything back and when I have, um, when I curl everything back, if I, when I change my part and everything's been curled back, it's actually gonna look, make some pieces look like they've been curled forward. And so that's the difference that it gives you. So you don't have to make up your mind beforehand if you, what, where you want your part to be, but just know that if you just curl it however you wanna curl it and then you go and flip it, if your part does change, that's why, okay? Okay. But changing up your part is a game changer, indeed. Do my little flip, not all the way through. And when you're done with this, if you feel like you wish you would have had a little bit more curl in areas, it's totally fine. You can easily just add in some curls where you feel that you need them, and then you're good to go. Curl this baby up. We're almost to the part. Then you'll see what I do. part down the center. I normally don't style my hair with it down the center, but I'm going to show you what it will look like if you change up your part. So I'll style this baby. She's a little crazy on top. I'll style this baby um, with everything rolling back. Okay, I wanna get some good volume because this is the top, so. Almost wrapping it up. If you notice at this top stuff, white where it's longer, I do my flip, but then I have so much hair that want that needs that needs a home. So I'm just gonna do it again a little bit down, and it just makes it for a crazy, funky curl slash crimp. You'll like it, trust me. Okay. We're almost done, and then I'm gonna show you the difference in the parts. Okay, everything is curled up. I have it parted down the middle. If you wanna keep it like this parted down the middle, I just add a little spritz to it. Um, I would use some type of oil, like this is marula oil from Lange Hair. I would use something like that because this, I like to spray it on my hand, and then that helps me pull the pieces apart. So if you have something like this, use that baby, or there's always Lange as well. I love this stuff. Um, but again, see how it just makes them fun, easy curls, but your hand isn't like pulling everything out. It's just fun, but it's also making it look like it has a purpose, not just like a ton of strands pulling away from each other, and then it just looks like a bunch of crazy. Your hands are doing the work for you because a brush would take it all out more. And this makes it so much easier on you. Okay, so again, you can leave it just like this, 
or we can mess with the part a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is my hair normally parts from this side over. Um, because I parted it down the middle though, I'm gonna, and then I have some on this side, it's gonna add more volume over to this side. Or I can take this side, because it's not used to always parting over there, but instead of pulling it forward like this, I push it back so it gives it like this little bubble. And then it just gives you a little bit of sass, right? So this is parting on this side. This is the side that my hair is not used to. I love it. I love the extra bit of poof, but look at that volume that it gives you. Okay, and then this is the side that it's used to parting on. So not as much volume, but it's fun. So these curls are now flipped forward and they were going back, but now that we moved it, they're all going forward. And then around my face, I just did those flat iron ones. Um, I did some curls, depending on which side, depends on how they flow, if they're going back or if they're going forward. Okay, here, they we're like at the tail end of this tutorial. So one of the things that I used is like uh, the Marilla oil is what I told you about. An oil that you can kind of squish things together, pull out your curls, um, not making it so you're losing all your curl by using a brush. You never want to go through these curls with a brush. That's just going to ruin it all. So spraying this on your hand is my very favorite because then I have more control over it. Um, if you want to make your ends piecey, you can use a pomade. Uh, I love this pomade because I don't know if you can tell, but see how it's shiny on the inside? Yep, it's shiny on the inside, making it more, it's stronger than a gel. Um, it's got really good grit, and not grit, it's not gritty. It's got really good hold to it, and so you can go in and make things more PC. Um, and then some people like to use like a salt and sea spray to get themselves more volume, wake it up as well. You can do whatever you wish that you want to add to your hair for your hairstyle. Um, if you need help, you can comment below with what your hairstyle is. I can tell you what ones it might be best for your hair if you like, but you need to let me know that too. Ooh, and I think that's all for this tutorial. So we're just gonna wrap up the very like last things that you can do in other tutorials. I'll mention what I did before or to take care of all the things, but that's all she wrote with what I put in my hair. Not a lot of product for day two hair. Not a lot at all. If you feel you need hairspray, get you some good hairspray. But um, I don't really have to use a ton of hairspray with going with these curls. That's another reason why I like going in with the tapered end, just because it's gonna help the memory hold that for a couple more days. And it's awesome. And I love it. Let me show you every angle of my hair. I hope that you learn something new. I hope you're going to take this into your bathroom, style your hair, have some fun with it, and let me know how it goes. You can find me on Instagram at jocelyn.mcclellan. Send me a picture if you'd like, because I want to see your cute, cute hair. I love having short hair. I love the styles. Everybody thinks that if you have short hair, you can't do something fun with it. No, girlfriend, you totally can. You can even take this style and pin it back on the side. You can have the funnest hairstyle with short hair. Always, every day, okay? Um, but you can find me at jocelyn.mcclellan on Instagram, send me a picture. And if you need any other tutorials, I'm always going doing tutorials weekly on Facebook at Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan, okay? Okay, until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you.